Okay, welcome back to Kreos Gaming. I'm continuing my uh, no mundane run in which I'll be performing combat entirely with magic and won't be using any of the non-magical skills that aren't unavoidable. So for example, I'll still be using speech, but I won't be doing anything with blacksmithing and that kind of thing, or block, and etc. So what I'm going to do to start gonna take a look at quests so that I can see where I need to go to find out uh, just all right so I've got two quests that are up here in solitude and I can they said take a uh, carriage from white run over to solitude but I don't know that I'm gonna do that and then there's two quests up here in Winterhold and the Shrine of Azura, and there's a quest in Windhelm, Windhelm. So it appears that the closest quests are going to be killing the leader in Valheim, and then retiring, retrieving Nettlebane, and running to Iverstead. Now Iverstead's going to be all the way on the other side of this mountain, it's looking like, so that may not be quick. But it does look like getting to Valefheim Towers is going to be a fairly easy run, and that's killing the leader there. So we'll do that to start. Okay. Which is not any of these. So that actually ends up being, yep, one of the primaries, which is interesting. So we'll make that our destination. Looking at the map, uh, I can get a bit of a head start on it. If I don't want to swim the river, I can go from Hunting Brew Meadery. So I'll do that. One of, the, one of the nice things about the game, when you fast travel somewhere, if your horse is alive, it will appear right next to you. And that makes fast travel a little easier. Uh, I expect there's probably a way to summon your horse even if you don't fast travel, but I have no idea what that is. Uh, I haven't put a lot of effort into trying to find out. I briefly scanned the uh, controls list at one point and did not see something like call horse or something like that. So I've traditionally used... Alright, so there's a wolf in the vicinity. I heard howling. Yep, there he is. So one of the one of the things I did while I was between sessions here was I went out and picked up a couple of additional spells. So now I have spells with range. I've got the ice spike, lightning bolt, and fire bolt. So now I've got uh, I don't have to be within just under melee range to attack something. That'll prove beneficial in the future. I'm hoping. Uh, a number of times. I, For example, the dragon fight, where I died numerous times, part of the reason I was dying is I could not sit back and attack. I had to run up to something that breathes fire, and that's just not wise to do. It's fairly... A, oop, oh my. That's a lot of them. No, let's see how this goes. Ow. Okay, where'd he go? Dead. Looks my looks like my horse is gonna chase down the third one. Maybe. Yep. Alright. So it's interesting how aggressive the horse is. It's not. It's actually not. I suppose aggressive is the wrong word. It's. It defends itself rather. Uh, skeever. Rather actively. But it won't chase something that isn't attacking. So in that regard, aggressive is kind of the wrong word. But uh, once attacked, it's fairly persistent. Uh, it will not get itself killed. So to that extent, it's not entirely persistent. Uh, so it will flee if it's low on health. But if it's not low on health, it doesn't matter if the enemy is running away. 
there's a stone up here, so I'm going to go here. It won't matter if the enemy's running away, it's going to pursue and try and kill it. So it's not just a uh, survival-based thing where the horse is only going to be attacking if it feels threatened. Uh, feels is programmed to act as if it were a simulated threatening? I don't know, however you want to phrase that. Here we go. Yep. I'll take these so that I can disenchant them later. And then this is a ritual stone, which... Reanimating nearby corpses. No thank you, I'll stick with increasing my magic skills faster. That will work for me. And here's where I left my horse. So it can continue on. So the horse doesn't necessarily increase your speed a lot, but it is definitely an improvement over walking. The only downside of course being that uh, you can't uh, pick anything as you run, but that's not major. Give me a moment here as I check on something. But in my experience in my other playthrough, potions weren't rare, and neither were ingredients. Generally you could find ingredients just in those times where you were running around already anyway. So I'm supposed to be taking out a, uh, what do you call it? There we go. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say... 200 gold if you want to use our road. Ha! Huh. Tough talk for someone who's about to have their guts spilled. You think it's bad time to get lost? <laughs> no, no. So that's one kind of issue with the horse. Oh, dang it. That's going to be a problem. Um... It's too easy, basically, to accidentally remount the horse instead of moving on. Alright, so there's a chest at the bottom there, but I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. so that I'm slowing and draining stamina. Uh, no, move! Ah! Dang horse! Okay, and I don't... Oh, no, I do not have any healing potions in there, so... Let's see here. Take some minor healing. Take a couple of magicka potions. It's interesting that the potions I made that are restore magicka are red. Because um, the ones that you loot end up being blue, but if apparently I've used those up, so. Okay. <laughs> So if the horse had not gotten in my way at the door, that wouldn't have been a problem, but the horse got in my way at the door. So that's an issue. Alright, so I'm here. Okay. We're down to the bridge. 
brewery again. Ah, so I'll we'll save it before going into the tower this time. That was probably a bit too aggressive. Uh, let's see. Switch over to flames until I get there. On the bright side, when you've done it once, it's a lot easier. Other than I have to kill up or get the uh, stone again. But I know where the wolves are, so. Oh, first wolf. I forgot to see if I could shut those off. I'll have to do that after this one. Why farmer are blind. It has nothing to do with the Dwemer disappearing. Really. Okay, so he's my liar and he has nothing to say in terms of dialogue options. So that's fine. Also interesting the trio oop, there we go. Now this is the skeever. The trio of wolves does appear to be missing. The ranged spells that I have are also uh, novice spells, whereas these are the ones that the the flames, the short, the non-ranged spells, the shorter ranged spells are the lower rank. So the longer ranged spells cost more ma uh, magicka because I have not taken the. Uh, perk that reduces their mana cost yet, because that perk is a per rank thing. And I'm going to switch to Sparks, because this other individual was a caster. And that way I'll be able to reduce their magicka while doing damage. Oh, interesting. This time one of them did not die while I was shooting it. Alright, so... Oh! Regenerate 75% faster versus what do I have? All right, then. We'll go with, uh, what do you call it? Pragmatism over any kind of moral qualms about wearing something called ne necromancer's robes. Oop. Also, let me jump off real quick. Switch to healing. Well, oh, we'll use fast healing. Well, no longer a matching set, but that's fine. But now I'll have better magic or regen. That'll be beneficial long term, I'm hoping. So while I was approaching the tower before, one of the things I was getting ready to say is that because I know I'm here to defeat a bandit leader, I'm not going to worry about wondering whether or not the individuals in the vicinity are aggressive because they're likely to be bandits and therefore definitely be aggressive, but it turned out to be a dialogue section anyway, uh, so that was fine. There are a couple points where it's just not real clear whether or not the person in front of you is going to be one of the bandits or not, and turns out you attack them and they uh, are an NPC that would have had a quest if you hadn't attacked them and you have to reload a save. 
speaking of saving. I'll save now. And that way, if I die again, I don't have to go through the Hold it. This here's a mundane toll road, stuff. See? You're gonna have to hand over, say. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Let's go. Tough talk. Never should have come here. All right, then. And if it wasn't apparent from the first thing we, uh, for the, from the caster that we killed on top of the rocks, the um, loot is somewhat randomized between from save to save. Yeah, yeah, bring it up. Ow. Okay, that's not quite what I meant. But oh, good grief. Uh, my horse is there again. See the one that's really far away, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna kill that one. I was hoping one would come in and try and attack more Malay style, but that didn't happen. Oh. Alright. So if he's just gonna stand there, switch over here to. I'm gonna use Lightning Bolt because I think it's travel time is reduced and I have to worry less about them dying. Wish I could tell where that one was. I can't see him. Okay, what do we got here? Switch back to Frostbite. I agree. Where did you go? to see tomorrow. Well, I've said before I don't mind cheesing, so if running around a table is what it takes, that's what I'll do. I swear I'll kill you. Yeah, yeah. stuff, but I'll take that anyway, just to be sure. Minor healing. Don't need those, because they're for other skills. Yeah, yeah, of course you will. Still somebody down there, but they're too far away for me to see. I'll come around and get them. Well, tossed him off the edge. <sighs> Bummer. Is he like way off the edge? Yep. Okay. We'll see what's up. 
up here real quick. Magic, restore health, but I already really want is restore magicka. Um, no, don't quit alchemy. However, let's see, does restore mount red mountain flower? So red restore magicka doesn't appear to share anything with restore health, so. Here we go. Usually I'd do that outside of the recording, but it was there and it gives me quick access to stuff. sneaking. On the one hand, it doesn't make a lot of sense to take uh, items, weapons to disenchant, because I'm not going to be using weapons, I'm going to be using magic the entire time, but on the other hand, it's actually not that big a deal, because disenchanting gives you skill improvements, too. So, it's not a complete waste. And there we go. Disable the trap trigger. So, I can fast travel back here, so what I'm going to do is fast travel over to Whiterun to turn in this quest, and then when I'm done, I'll come back to the to that tower, and that'll allow me to continue on my way to uh, go see the Greybeards. But might as well get this quest turned in first. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some meat. Apparently, I forgot about the uh, that it was here for the companions. And close to leveling again. That'll be good. Skip. Some people don't think I'm smart. Those people get my fist. But you, I... Another job well done. Your payment is secure. And you have my thanks. Eh, I'm not looking mm -hmm. for work. They prefer non-magic, so we'll leave them be. Alright, so... Port back to Valheim. When I land, I can switch over to visit the Greybeards and go do that quest. And because... well, actually, it'll, it will have saved from exiting... Yar of Scar, so I'm okay for save then, because all I've done is fast travel here. Uh, so let's move on to the Way of the Void. 
place. So Skyrim's fairly large. If you're not fast traveling, it takes quite a while to get across, which is why fast travel's nice for quest delivery and stuff. Otherwise, you spend a lot of time looking at the back of a horse. I haven't tried using a carriage yet. Maybe when I need to go to Solitude finally, I will switch and use a carriage so that I can see what that's like. My expectation is it'll function like fast traveling, but we'll see. Though, to be honest, I don't mind riding around. Okay, so what do we got? Is that a crab? Oh, it's a spider. Ow. Oh, dang it, horse! I'm guessing it must have spit a web or something, because usually the horse won't attack unless it attacked. What am I stuck on? Maybe there's a forward. There we go. Get forward up here. So I'm pretty sure that first spell would have hit if the horse hadn't. Uh, rushed over and made it turn, but maybe not. Alright. Oops. So you can put in custom markers uh, by left clicking. I keep forgetting that I don't need to... No, no. Remove it that I don't need to uh, left click to bid the mouse to move, I just need to move to the edge of the map. Alright, so this, I need to keep running. This is not the way up to... But oh, hey, there's an orc. What do you have to say for yourself? If you are not here to grant me a good death, then you can leave. <laughs> yes, were I to simply lay down and die, it would not please Malakath. My time has come. I am old. Too old to become chief. It would be wrong for me to take wives at this age. So I will die. Malakath has given me a vision of a glorious death. I am to wait here until it finds me. As you can see, it has not yet arrived. Indeed. One should find his death while he can still call himself a proper man. We orc men are not like these Nords and Imperials who carry on until they are gray and feeble and their hair falls out. To cling to something past its usefulness is unseemly. How much more so when that thing is you? Perhaps. Are you sure about this? Hmm. We shall see. Never should have come here. Nice. Good enough. Holy crap. He's durable. That was unexpected. Well, I'll keep in mind that that's there, but... Yeah, well, that's what I get for saying, nope, don't need to save again. Which I don't. It's a bit of running on the horse. I was not expecting somebody along the road that early in the game to be that strong. Need to 
stuff real quick. Get back on the horse and be on my way. At this point, I think I'll probably... Well, yeah, I'll probably skip the spider. It's only a few quests, don't have anything to really loot, except for poisons if I'm lucky. And since I'm not using weapons, poisons aren't going to be helpful. wonder if it's also possible if he has uh, magic resistance. In the fight with the companion, every time I cast a spell, he, his response was, No, you have to hit me with a weapon! And once I hit him with a weapon, it was just that one shot and woohoo. But here, um, I wonder if a good death is, again, going to be specifically identified as... You're not an orc. I'm going to save it just in case. The Empire is in shambles. They've banned the worship of Talos. Okay, and that's enough to get me join the Stormcloak Rebellion. Sure, why not? Basically just assuming that this road will eventually lead me somewhere useful. We will see. I'm sure there'd be a lot more combat and potentially more interesting stuff if I were visiting the various side locations, but I know from experience that that takes longer as well, so... For now, I'm trying to stick with just where quests send me, unless something sends me ex or unless I accidentally cross paths with something instead. Um, for example, that happened in the last session, or the one before it, not sure which, when I found uh, a sepulcher with a bunch of bandits around it, thinking that I was in the right place, and I was not. But it looks like we've got a. You're an orc. Hopefully you're not the same one. You don't look the same. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Oh, great. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? I don't have to take that from you. Ah, crud. I've got the wrong... So Skyrim is apparently a violent place. Getting insulted and attacked by random people on the road. Okay. So we're in another... Looks like we've reached another town of sorts. Can run around here and try and find quests. See if any of them lead to the same place as we're already heading.
interesting. Each of those were ingredients, even if they might be used in cooking. I was not expecting a dilapidated area. Now I'm curious what's going on here. Are, are chickens eggs ingredients or food? Apparently they're ingredients. That resist magic. Okay. No. What the heck? So it's a mill, but it's been abandoned, I guess? No, because that. This is Gilfrey's house. But Gilfrey appears to not be in his or her house. Well, this was not my intent. I was just trying to find a way around. <sighs> Interesting. So it's just these two. Well, I am going to save it before picking this lock, just in case Gilfrey is home, and I annoy him to the point of getting attacked again. I'm Olus. See if Gilfrey's house is abandoned. Can't a woman get a moment to herself? Okay then. So Gilfrey is here, but is so it's the middle of the day. Yep. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. I used to have five good men who worked the mill with me. Then this war started and they all ran off. Idiots with meat in their blood. There's plenty of good wood around. I just can't harvest it all by myself. Everyone able-bodied is fighting. Okay, so maybe this is just a source of cash then, because what you can do, and maybe it'll have an axe down here that I can pick up temporarily to do it, no. So if you have a woodcutter's axe, you can chop wood, and my expectation is that if I were to chop firewood, I'd be able to sell it to her. Of course, without functioning mills, who will make the arrows for our soldiers? No that is fire. a very impressively strong individual. Alright, so that's what that is. That is, It's quite a bit less than I was expecting. Um, I thought it was going to be a town, but nothing wrong with having another fast travel location identified. So we'll move on here. I'm pretty sure that that house-looking thing is also a town, but we'll see as we get there. Oh my. Run away! I don't care about because they're used in blacksmithing and I'm not going to be worrying about blacksmithing, so. That was fairly effective. Okay. Well, I 
I suppose I might as well see what a Eye of the Saber Cat does. Restore stamina. Good to know. I guess I'm kind of gun shy after being killed on the road by something unexpected. Greetings, brother. You look weary. I have something to help you relax, if you're interested. The finest skooma, the sweetest moon sugar, at a fair price, of course. Ah, a snitch, eh? Can't have you running through any guards now, can I? Eh, yeah, figures. Wait a second. I had you much lower on health a second ago. Yeah. Enough! Sugar, I think it was. Yep. Which is next to fire. Okay. And then let's see what else do we have in the immediate vicinity that's an ingredient. So this is level 7, which means I'm going to be picking health, and then Apprentice Destruction. There we go. So my, the low spells are Apprentice, or er, Novice, then comes Apprentice. So I'm going to take this one so that my longer ranged spells are less of an issue. Are less expensive as far as magic is concerned, so that I can feel safe casting at range. What the heck is going on? Where am I? Oh, for the love. <sighs> so when he gave me, I lost the way of the voice, probably because I died. So I've been tracking the wrong quest and going the wrong way. So let's drop join the Stormcloak Rebellion, because with this guy I actually want to join the Imperials. In the next one I'll join the Stormcloaks, but I've been running the wrong way for a little while. Oops. Helps to pay attention to which quest you're on. of that, this has been going quite a bit longer than I'd initially intended. I figured I'd make it to the... There's a town outside of where you would start climbing to get to the Greybeards, and I was going to stop at that town and call it there, but I died, and then I was running a lot, went the wrong way, and now I'm up to 45 minutes, so I'll get myself there, not do any quest collecting, and call that good. Of course, I'm in a hurry, or concerned about time, and here I am jumping off to get ingredients, so I'll stop doing that and keep moving.
course I turned down the graphics settings so Skyrim's not quite as detailed as it could be. I still think it looks pretty decent. Just mountains in the distance, being able to see what's going on, that kind of thing. It's an older game, I know, but graphics wise, so the the level of like polygon counts may not be the best in the world, but the actual the design, I guess. So polygon count and that kind of thing would be a question of implementation. And implementation is kind of got its issues, but the way they did it, the, the distribution of trees, quality of the water, those kind of things I think are very interesting. Alright, where am I? Yeah, so need to keep running basically this way. Um, that looks threatening. I'm going to not go that way. I have a destination. It's just a matter of trying to get to it. slope and recover the iron great sword of scorching. Interesting. Okay. So let's see if that's in the vicinity since he's close. No, it's way the heck over there. Okay. So, not going to be doing that for right now then. Continuing on with the plan. like thing will take me where I need to go. I have this fear that it won't, but we'll see. It's going up into the hills. Now more so with these switchbacks. As a player and in the character from the character's perspective because switchbacks suck when you're hiking. Of course I half expect that they're not much better when you're riding a horse but well relative to not riding excuse me relative to riding a horse without switchbacks. <laughs> Anyway, I was trying to say that I expect that relative to walking where there aren't switchbacks and walking where there are switchbacks, walking where there are switchbacks being bad, I would expect that riding where there aren't switchbacks and riding where there are switchbacks, riding where there are switchbacks would be bad. Just phrased it really, really poorly. There's a river here. There's probably a good chance that we're at the end of whatever that was. All right, what do we got? I hear it. Oh my, a troll. All right, hold on. So if you notice, you can't save it while you're mounting or dismounting your horse. We'll save this real quick and go see if we can't get killed by a troll. They're supposed to be weak to fire. It appears 
not weak enough. Alright, so inventory, potions, magicka. Let's see what these say. Well, apparently they underestimated what was there. No, 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 I wanted to... Come on. No. There. Heavy armor. Okay, that doesn't help me. Back onto the trail of the... Ah, I see. Alright, so this is where the quest goes. I'm gonna stop here, and next time I will go through and discover the quests that are available in this Iberstad. Have a good day, all.